fruitful land within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. No bless shall a man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Me from my youth, let Israel now say. So they have they afflicted me from my youth, yet they have not prevailed against me. The flowers fall upon my back, they may long their furrows. The Lord is righteous, he has turned the courts of the wicked. May all who wait Zion be put to shame and turn backwards. Let them be like the grass on the housetops, which with us when the shall reaper does not fill his hand, or the binder of sheaves is full of sun. While those who pass by do not say, the blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to Thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to Thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to Thee, O God. Again, yet again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have
towards one another and all our lives unto Christ our God. To Jesus 
is the true spiritual Son, sent you out as lightning into all the world. Apostles and eyewitnesses of God, he dispersed the darkness of error, enlightening those of past in the gloom of ignorance, and treating to send down on us as well his illumination and great Merciful. 
wisdom let us attend. Grant the might of the holy glory of the immortal Father, and in the holy blessed of Jesus Christ. Now that we have come to the setting of the sun and behold the light of evening, we praise our
The reading is from the book of Proverbs. My son, if you receive my words and treasure of my commandments to you, making your ear attentive to wisdom and inclining your heart from understanding, yes, if you cry out for insight and raise your voice from understanding, if you seek it like silver and search for it as, as for a hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Guarding the path of justice and preserving the way of the saints. Then you will understand the righteousness and justice and equity. Every good path for wisdom will come into your heart, and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discretion will watch over you, understanding will guard you, delivering you from the way of evil, from men of perverted speech who forsake the path of uprightness, to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice in doing evil and delight in the are devious in their ways, you will be saved from the loose blood, from the adventurers with their smooth words, who forsakes the companion of her youth and forgets the covenant of her God, for her house sinks down to the death and her path to the shades, not the road to her come back, nor do they regain the path of life, so you will walk in the way of the man and keep to the path of the righteous, for the upright will live
power and I know God. Your brother and the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Dear Lord, Lord in thee, grant me my own transgressions and not to judge my brother, for blessed are thou of the days of ages. Let us the faithful again and again 
in peace. Pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. Keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have
thus draw near in faith and in love, and so become a communicants of life with him. Abides in me and I in him, 
that by thy word, O Lord, dwelling within us, and so journeying among us, we may become the temple of thy now holy and adorable spirit, redeemed from every diabolical wile, wrought either by deed or word or thought, and may obtain the good things promised to us with all thy saints, who in all ages have been more pleasing to thee. And make us worthy, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation, we may dare to call on thee, the heavenly God is Father, and
award and indeed, through the knowledge of your ignorance, and make me worthy to partake, without condemnation, of thy most pure mysteries, for the remission of my sins, and unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communion, for I will not speak of thy mysteries to my enemies, neither like to this will I give thee a kiss, but like a thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, for thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries be guided to my judgment, or to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of soul and body.
Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his all pure and blameless mother at the supplication of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles of our Father among the saints, Nicholas, Archbishop of Myron, Lycia, the wonder worker, of our holy fathers and mothers among the saints, we commemorate on this day, and especially James and Cyril, bishops of Catania, of Gregory Diologus, Bishop of Rome, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he alone is good and the lover of mankind. Amen.